Everybody knows Linda Carter for her iconic portrayal as Wonder Woman on the hit TV series back in the 70s. These days, Linda has been keeping busy with a new legion of fans across social media. She's been making music and working with an organization that's close to her heart. Linda, how are you? How, you have a ton of fans. Everybody knows you. But how do you like this new wave of fans who are discovering you on social media? They're like, there's this really cool person I see. I know, I know. The Twitter and yes. Instagram and... Well, the truth is I hired a, a wonderful person, uh, Sabrina Cartan, yeah. and uh, uh, she's a social media guru. Mm -hmm. And because I didn't really know how, how it worked and all of that, and so we work very tightly together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, you know, you can't do it alone. Yeah. You, you, really, you really need help, and you need someone that's in the that's on the thread uh, yeah. and the pulse of millennials mm -hmm. and things. And then I can say the things that I really want to say. <laughs> yeah. and like, say it in a it's awesome. You're on every meme. There's a meme yeah. of you for everything <laughs> yes. now. I know. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's been a wonderful ride, and it, it's been very rewarding because I have people recognizing me that I, I, I think, well, how, how, how did this young person know who I am? Does it seem like yesterday that you got the role of Wonder Woman? I, I mean, I know no. it, it, it feels like forever ago. <laughs> You're like, uh, no. But wasn't that back when you had, like, 25 bucks in your pocket? Yes. And you didn't know what was going to happen next? Yes. And then you get this. Uh, I was Paul. like, like uh, th there were no people in Hollywood that were really uh, uh, doing shows of their own, and so when I got Wonder Woman, it was, it was really, a, it was really something. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine that at that time, that character, you are so famous so quick. So yeah, so quickly. Yeah, I needed therapy. Did you? Yeah, <laughs> right away. You need therapy <laughs> as soon as you get famous. Wow. What was it like living through those times where everybody everybody knew you? You jumped right in the deep end. It, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's been so long, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and, and it was heady and wonderful. And as you know, you guys know this. You've been through this. And and you know it isn't uh, it, it, things that are ascribed to you aren't mm -hmm. aren't really you and then things that uh that really are you are are as well like what i'm doing now well let's talk about that okay. because um a year and a half ago yes. you lost uh the love of your life and that was a, a real difficult time and is robert. continues to be robert is something special and amazing but it also triggered something in you uh, a fight that you're you're going to continue with well, what happened is that he was diagnosed with myelofibrosis, and uh, in, it was in, in, in a form that um, that they told you just watch it, mm -hmm. and it, it is a deadly disease, and you don't know when it's going to trigger uh, the uh, acute stage, and so I called uh, my friend, a uh, long time, I've known him since grade school, who uh, founded TGen, Translational Genomics. And he got me in touch with the uh, uh, City of Hope. Mm -hmm. And I was able to talk with them a little bit uh, about what the prognosis was. And it wasn't good. But um, we were in the East, and they are all in the West. And it was during COVID. Mm -hmm. And so we were in, in a facility in the East. And um, they just told us to watch it. And I thought, this is ridiculous. This is so unfair to mm -hmm. say, what. Well, we're in it for the long haul. Let's just watch it and mm -hmm. see what happens. Mm -hmm. And we'll take it from there, mm -hmm. and we'll see how it progresses. What they didn't tell you was it's going to progress to a fatal disease. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, it'll explode, and then there's nothing we can do. Oh, my gosh. So um, City of Hope and Translational Genomics, TGen, and I, I've, I've uh, donated... A, donated and partnered with uh, City of Hope and TGen to, uh, for precision um, diagnostics mm -hmm. and research and actually going to be to clinical trials. Wow. And I believe that next year when I come back and see you that we're going to, I'm going to be able to show you. <laughs> I'm going to be able <laughs> to show you that we are, have really, really come so far in, in detecting these cancers mm -hmm. during the phase when they are about to change or when you can really, in a precision way, follow this and mm -hmm. have drugs ready 
to treat it. So you're treating it like diabetes. You're treating it mm -hmm. as, a, as a disease that is managed instead of fatal. Yeah. Wow. into its acute stages. And you're, you're teaching us about this, I'm learning as you're talking, and you're also teaching people about grieving um, yeah. because I think some people think I should be over this or, or at a certain stage by now. I should be feeling this by now. But there's no timetable, is there? No. I mentioned to you, somebody asked me how long it had been since I'd lost Robert, and I'd said a year and a half, and they said, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh. Well, I, I, I still cry, yeah. you know. I think of him, and uh, I, I think of the imme immense love that we had mm. in our, I was able to have in my life, mm. and how lucky I was. Mm -hmm. And by, by gosh, I am going to, I'm going to figure this out, this disease out, and, and hopefully this will help other families not go through what Love I've it. been through. Well, and another way you heal is through your awesome music. And we should point out that we are going to be hearing more of your music, yes. I know, as we come along. I know your daughter is singing, too. And... Yes, my daughter. Oh, wow. Yeah. The... Jessica Carter-Altman. She's, <laughs> yes. she's, thank you for bringing that up. She's, she is just a uh, shockingly mm -hmm. good songwriter. <laughs> songwriter. She's, uh, she, and I've got some songs that I've written yeah. that are coming out as well. They're pretty but... good, too. <laughs> thank you. Thank well, you. Linda, we love that we love you. We know we know that you always you're gonna have something for us when you come back and see us. I near will. I'm gonna wait. show you something that mm -hmm. is gonna be look, hopefully phenomenal. We look forward oh, to that. I love you and Bob. We love you. It's Isn't so it the best? To you. Yes. It's great to see you, Linda. Yes, we love you. Watching you've been great. <laughs> All right. To find out more about City of Hope, go to hodaandjenna.com. And we, by the way, we, we decided to dress alike. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we got, yeah.